Hello second grade and welcome to another scientific investigation. Today we are doing an investigation with rocks for our pebbles, sand, and silt unit. We have been talking about rocks in our past few lessons and we've been talking about how rocks have properties just like solids and liquids. So today I have some rocks here, two rocks that we're going to be looking at and we are going to see what happens when rocks rub together. Before we begin, I want you to take a look at the rocks I have. And I want you to look closely and describe these rocks using the property words that we have talked about in class. So you can pause the video and take a look at the rocks and describe them by their property words. Remember to write it down. Once you're done writing down the property words for these rocks, we are now going to take a look at what happens when we rub these two rocks together. Before I do this investigation for you, I want you to make a prediction. What do you think will happen when I take these two rocks knowing their different properties, and I rub it against each other. Maybe nothing will happen. Do you think that it'll break into pieces? Do you think that it'll change color? Make your predictions and then we will get started. Okay, now that we've made our predictions and we described our rocks using property words, now we are going to begin our investigation. So I'm going to take these two rocks and I am going to rub it against each other on top of this paper. Now as I am rubbing the rocks against each other, I want you to take a close look as to what happens or what falls on top of this white piece of paper. Are you ready? Let's begin. So I'm rubbing, I'm rubbing it as hard as I can. I'm going to rub it for a couple of seconds. Oh, I think something's starting to happen. Maybe I'll rub on this side too. Okay, and we will stop. Whoa, do you see what came off of my rocks here? Let's take a closer look. As I rub the rocks together, these tiny little pieces came off onto my white piece of paper. Now this was not here before. The paper was white blank and clean but now I have these tiny tiny pieces of something on my paper what do you think this is called what did the rocks rubbing together now make these are so tiny even tinier than my finger hmm let's take a look at another change that happened as I rub my rocks together remember these rocks were dark but now, look at this rock, look at this rock. Now it has white marks on it. Why do you think it has these white scratches on it? These white marks. Will these white marks stay on there? Will they come off if I rub it, perhaps? Make your scientific observations. Remember to record your observations in your notebook on your or on your Google slide because it's very important for us to write down what we see and what we think so that we can come to our final conclusion. So now that we see all the changes that have happened with rubbing our rocks together on our rocks and on the paper, let's talk about what this is. So when you rub rocks together, these tiny pieces and tiny specks are called sand. Yes, 
sand comes from rocks rubbing together over and over and over again. Now this is not the sand we normally see like at the beach, but this sand we typically see mixed in dirt and soil. And sometimes this type of sand can even be found way, way, way deep at the beach too. So depending on the rocks you have, their color and their type, that's the type of sand that you'll get. So remember to continue to write down your observations and record your thoughts in your notebooks. And we will continue our investigations with rocks in the next few days.